Alright guys, this is the uh, final video explaining the uh, coil denitrator. Um, it's officially up and running right now. I've got uh, my mag, mini mag, right back there modified down to a uh, <clears throat> a quarter inch and then that goes to the vinyl tubing into the elbow which is hooked up to my coil and the water is officially filled the whole coil and right now the actual reactor part is filling with water and once it fills to the top it's just going to spill over through my control valve right there I've got fastened right into this little hole right here with a check valve behind it I've got that taped off to block light so I don't get a malfunction with my check valve uh, with algae growth in there and I can control the valve right here and I can see clearly if it's working just by taking a quick peek I have full control right there over the drip so I'll be able to closely monitor the performance of this uh, anyways uh, yeah it, it's a pretty simple little deal uh, it's gonna take a while to fill up water but uh, I actually had to add about a gallon and a half uh, mix salt mix water um, to accommodate the extra volume uh, for the reactor it's quite a bit more there I don't know how many gallons maybe one or two maybe two so I mixed up about a gallon and a half and uh, if I have to, I'll just top off of a little RO to balance it out. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty slick little setup. I'm going to be uh, putting that pump back there directly into a filter sock um, to block any debris from getting into the uh, reactor. Don't want that. Um, So, also any air, try and get all that out. We don't want no air going through. So, we want to get all of that out. <clears throat> the flow is so slow, it uh, needs a little help getting the air out so you want to make sure that you get all your air bubbles out of there because air is going to kill the anaerobic bacteria if you have an air bubble get in there it could kill some of it the idea is to keep the oxygen out <clears throat> so anyways yeah you can see the little air bubbles that I just knocked free going into the system there um, got the uh, I've got the uh, valve wide open um, so yeah like I said it, it's just filling up with water right now and uh, we'll be um, controlling this 
uh, turning turning it down once I get water going through there we'll be turning the valve down a little bit uh, so we'll see how this works we'll get another video um, soon here hopefully with an update as far as performance and how well this thing is working um, I've got pretty high nitrates right now um, they're probably up to uh, 40 ppm um, I'm hoping this will kick in and start working pretty soon because I really don't want to uh, have to keep doing water changes that don't really do very much so I need a mechanism to get rid of uh, these nitrates so hopefully this will be it right here uh, worked pretty hard on it <clears throat> pretty simple design but it, it uh, I spent a little time making sure it's gonna perform well and uh, nice and convenient and durable you know so anyways uh, stay tuned uh, I'll keep you posted for as far as uh, performance goes so thanks for watching bye